Darren, over the last few weeks, there's obviously been a lot of frustration what with postponements that have gone on. Looking at the positives, has that given you a chance to maybe get a few more bodies around the squad that could potentially be match fit? Yeah, that's the that's the positive side of it, that I've got one or two that have edged a little bit closer to uh, fitness with, without losing game time. So come the rearranged fixtures, I'll have them potentially back around us. Um, the frustrating side of it <coughs> is obviously you can you can maybe lose a little bit of that momentum that we had with playing regular. Um, but like I say, I'm looking at it positively. I've you know we've we've turned the page on on the disappointment of the game being called off. It will get rearranged and it will give us an opportunity to attack the game when it when it's rearranged and we'll have hopefully more bodies to pick from. So all positive from me today. Back into the trophy tomorrow night face Farsley who were clearly very dangerous side when we played them at their place. What are you expecting from this one tomorrow? Listen, they raised their games. I've said it before like like we did uh, when we've played against teams above us. You know, you raise your game, they want to prove a point and what we need to do is we went there and, and tried the hardest to win the game on a really difficult surface but it wasn't to be on the day, but we've got an opportunity now to take home advantage. Our home form has been pretty good. Um, our form has been pretty good without quite being as ruthless as we as we can be. Um, certainly in in recent times, we've looked a real threat going forward. The the, the system and the and the formation seems to sit well with everyone at the minute. All the all the components in the team seem comfortable. Um, so no, listen, tough game, but we're looking forward to it. I'm certainly looking forward to it because the boys should should be really desperate to get back out on the pitch now, having a bit of a stop-start couple of weeks. From where I was sat, they looked a very big side and they tended to use set pieces to their sort of strength. And I felt that we dealt with them fantastically well last time, Ped. Is that going to be an important factor tomorrow? Certainly. I mean, I think... From memory, Callum and Charlie Adams in particular on the day, you know, without taking credit away from everyone else, but them two seemed to get their head on everything. Um, they had a, a decent delivery, um, and it's obviously something that is a big attribute to them. But you know, when 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 it when called upon, and we need to stand up and be counted like we did on the on, on the day in the first game. So. You know what we've got to do is make sure we don't give them too many opportunities to to use the strength of theirs, and in the meantime, our strengths going forward, how we play on the counter attack with pace and directness and energy, and that we need to bring everything to the table tomorrow. And just finally, looking at your squad, has there been any movement in potentially been able to bring in a few numbers? Yes, I've been given the green light to um, add to the squad with, you know one or two players which is really pleased me today I'm really I'm, I'm really pleased about that because I just want to get the uh, one or two in the building that will give everyone a lift you know I want the fans to have a lift I, you know me and Junior want to see a new fresh face that we're excited to work with and and, and I, I do believe that the players would like to see a fresh face in there that, that made them go right okay here we go so all positive listen nothing set in stone just yet but we've made contact with a couple of clubs um, regarding players. And, you know, these things can happen very quickly and they can also drag a little bit. So, you know, we're in the market for one or two. Let's just hope sooner rather than later I can get them in the building.